Hi, I'm John Furrier. I'm the founder of the Cube Blockchain Project, which is a part of our media network. We're part building a blockchain system. I just moderated a panel with Matt Rozak, invest, famous investor, entrepreneur, and in, in crypto holder, top five Forbes lists, and Albergio serial entrepreneur. We were riffing on a lot of concepts, and one thing that we, we came to the conclusion was the regulatory environment is a mess. And Specifically in the United States, you're seeing a slowdown of capital raising of companies, not just ICOs, just in general, almost a, 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 a halt, a slowdown to almost a complete halt since about March 2018. So the United States, the SEC has kind of sent the, the signal that they're going to be looking at crypto. So it's pretty much put the entire entrepreneurial market kind of in paralysis. And that includes not only the entrepreneurs themselves, but the service providers, the law firms, the accountants. So the entire ecosystem of entrepreneurship in the United States is feeling the pressure and they're scared. So that's causing a lot of problems. Meanwhile, outside the United States, things are booming. In Asia and outside of the United States, it's booming, except for Europe. Europe is essentially really messed up with GDPR, that has absolutely slowed down. Nobody wants to work there, it's too complicated, too much regulation. Innovation needs experimentation, it needs oversight, but too much meddling hurts innovations. That was one concept we talked about, and it was pretty much unanimous from the group that that was the perspective. The second concept was how cloud and blockchain are coming together. Are they going to come together fast and furious and be a collision course, or is it going to come in with some standards and some elegancy to create some scalability to take advantage of the network effects, token economics, and that's the promise of cloud computing and cloud scale. That's what we're hoping for. If it's not thought through as an industry, it could come in and have a collision course and create a lot of carnage. So, you know, we're watching it, we're talking about it, having a lot of fun. And that was the purpose of the panel at the Global Blockchain uh, Summit here in Toronto 2018.